Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 22 and it's time for another career mode, it's time for the circuit of Barcelona here in the Catalan GP. So here we go then starting in pole position, the qualifying that was pretty challenging if I do say so myself and I rather enjoyed it so starting in pole away we go starting with power setting 2, I do find if we use power setting 3 the AI just goes nowhere and we blitz ahead so let's try and make it interesting and stay with power setting 2 throughout this Grand Prix. Maybe if we'll go for 3 if we really need it but for the time being let's stay with 2 and let's try and fight with Ayagora. So change of direction and up on the inside into turn 3. Brilliantly done from Grant. We are now leading this Grand Prix. The medium front and the medium rear are the tyre choice for today so we'll see what we can produce but Ayagora he's fancying a lunge up on the inside. He's not going to be late enough on the brakes to beat me into turn 4 but you better believe he's thought about it. Jake Dixon in the podium battle as well, always a good chance to see the British riders. We now go to the left hand side for turn 5, a little bit late up on the brakes there but we have the advantage of 4 tenths of a second which is rapidly coming down now. We didn't get a great exit before getting to the TV3 of the left hand side for turn 7. Change of direction of course, quick upshift into third, nice positioning for the man on the MB conveyor speed up team for the Bosca scorer of course as we bring on the power careful Ooh, a little bit wide upon that rumble strip and you do lose a significant amount of time but firm on the brakes will go as we now go into La Caixa for the very first time of asking it's a six lap sprint here in Catalonia we could theoretically just dive to the front and disappear but I'm curious to see the long back straight for the Catalonia straight of course where are we going to be? Can we lead from the end all the way to the top without Ayagura and Chantra chasing me down? I tell you what, this is a Honda Team Asia battle as Chantra has worked his way through the pack. Great job for the man who originally started in the front row as we're getting a bit messy upon the acceleration there. And there you go, their mistake has been made. I'm going to need power setting three just for a small boost to get back in to Ayagura. As Agora is breaking away somewhat as we now go firm onto the brakes for turn one. Things will just calm down ever so slightly as we regain our composure to put the fight to Ayagora. So now we have a moment to quickly look at the top eight. Agora, Grant, Chantra, Dixon and Vietti with Lowe's, Ben Schneider and Augusto Fernandez, the real-life championship leader or was real-life championship leader until Ayagora won in the Red Bull Ring of Austria. So Ayagora looking to do not only a virtual win but also the real win in Red Bull Ring from a couple of days ago but we'll now go firm on the brakes and bring it in to the left hand side for turn 5 keep it in nice and tight we should have a good drive here but the difference with us on power setting 2 and the AI still using power setting 3 is really night and day so we're gonna have to try and work out if we really do need power setting 3 I, I'm beginning to think we might we are losing a significant amount of time on those acceleration parts the strong acceleration the long straights 3 should be used but I'm going to try my best to not use it as much as we'll probably need. I want to be stronger on the brakes, I want to be more competitive while still using power setting 2. It's a big ask but we'll see what we can produce. So a change behind us it seems as uh, Vietti and Dixon must have had a small exchange, a little bit of a gap brewing and there's a massive gap after this long long train behind us. Some riders must have crashed or made mistakes in the early part of the Grand Prix. We're now into the Europe car for the final corner, turn 13. We're going to bring on the power, hopefully get into the slipstream of Agora, but I do realise that Chantra is closing me down. Fastest man on track, a 144.753 from Ayagora in the lead. Is Chantra going to be close enough for a lunge? He was as close as a tenth and a half on the straight there, but doesn't seem as confident on the brakes as we are. Using a lot of rear brake, quite firm on the front brake, but feathering it ever so gently is the best way for me to break and I do feel really confident on this circuit and especially with the Bosca Scura. So onto the braking zone into turn four. This is the same corner last year in Moto GP22 but on Moto3 where I started my crashing streak. So we're going to be avoiding that corner with all costs. Bit of a big mistake last year but this time around not going to be a mistake. We're going to be right on the cusp of chasing down Ayagora and even with power setting two we are closing the Japanese rider in. The Honda Team Asia man is in the lead for now, but for how much longer? We were rapid at the start of this race, at the start of this lap, should I say. And now into the right-hand side for nine. We are really close. If we get enough slipstream here, we could 
be forcing a move into Lakaisha. The AI breaks early. We do not. We break really late and very firm. So into the left-hand side. Are we going to be close enough on the exchange? Is it going to be some argy-bargy going into turn 11? Not quite. Ayagora's still got the lead, but up on the inside, we're going to have a, sn we're going to have a little nibble. A uh, sniff, almost, as we go into the lead. Not quite. Agora fended off very, very well, but now into turn 12. And now approaching for turn 13. Do we have a move? Not going to happen, but look at that slipstream we're going to gain here. That is a stupendous amount of slipstream, but Ayagora, quick off the acceleration there. Across the line, we are the fastest man on the circuit. A 144-032 for the man on the Bosco Scorer chassis. And the man who's going to attempt to lead the Grand Prix up in the inside. It's not going to stick. Agora fights back. Grant cannot. Brilliant exchange there, though. Brilliantly done from Agora as well. He was quite content with allowing us to go through. Yes, it was a bit of a late lunge. Yes, it was hard on the brakes, but we couldn't quite get it stopped. Agora, brilliantly done. And I tell you what, this is what we wanted to see. This is what I love to have happen in MotoGP 22. A race where we're pushed to the absolute limits. Yes, we have to use power saving too, but I tell you what, forget about the limits. We're going to go above and beyond here into turn five. That was a late lunge, but we do have the move stuck, and that is beautiful. But wait, go oh my goodness, he's stuck on my bike. I can't get him off. <laughs> he's actually pushing the rear tyre there. I've never seen that before. I just couldn't even move. I couldn't even turn in. Thank goodness he yielded before we got to the TV3. But even though we went for that mad lunge in this uh, cloudy area of Catalonia, we still have a two tenths of a second difference compared to the previous lap time. But look at Ayagora. That is strength coming out of turn nine, but we're going to be breaking extremely firm into Lakaisha. You know how tight we like it into the apex there. And up on the inside, Ayagora, back to second, please. And now we are in the lead. But Ayagora, oh, goodness me. I thought the change of direction there was going to be fatal. Thank goodness. Both of Ayagora again. This is exceptional racing. Ayagora gesticulating while mid-corner. That's a skill that certainly can't be replicated. But we now go to the right-hand side for Europe car, and we mustn't we mustn't discount some cat chantra. I knew he was coming then. I could see it on the left-hand side of the screen. The graphic had just depicted a tenth of a second, and now I've got to do work with both of them. This is going to be bloody hard. Across into the brakes, we'll go into turn one. That is stupendous. Beautiful braking, but will Chantra... Oh, he does. Chantra has the speed, but I can't allow him to fight back. Chantra, please. <laughs> no, you're making this worse. I can't get through. The heart rate has gone up. The heart rate has gone up to 119, ladies and gentlemen. 123. I don't know where it's going to stop, but I'm going to have to fight back on Chantra. Immediately into turn four. We regain the position, but we are now still in second. We have to bring the fight to Agora. The Honda Team Asia team is just brilliant. They are doing exactly what they should be doing, and uh, I would say P2 okay, some cat, but I'm having it right now. The team orders kind of worked in Red Bull Ring of Austria, but it's not going to work here. Grant is too good on the Bosca score, and I will not allow it to happen here today. Why can't my British compatriot there from Sam Lowe's come and help me out? I'm having a battle here with the Thai man and the Japanese man. It's just pushing me to the absolute limit. Agora in the lead, but it's down to this down to one more lap after this one ladies and gentlemen this penultimate lap has been something to be remembered by forever this has been a brilliant race so far i got stuck into the left hand side for lakaishi you can't sometimes move the bike in and it wouldn't let me do it that time around but for turn 11 i'm going to try and sneak it up on the inside but ayagora's just too strong i i i he is just pushing me to the limits this power setting three could solve all my problems in this one but i'm not doing it I'm not doing it. Power setting three would make this too easy. I am loving the battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Across the line, Agora, is he going to improve the lap time? He did, but Grant bested him. Grant bested him on the final lap of the race. We will now exchange battle once again. So into the first corner, very firm onto the brakes. Almost losing the front there, as a matter of fact. So we now change of direction. Chantra is still there. One more exchange between Agora and Grant and Chantra will be chomping at the bit. He is rubbing his hands together. Hiroshi Oyama is probably freaking out right now <laughs> because he's got an excellent chance of winning a Grand Prix this season. I don't think Ayagora has won one in Moto2 in my career mode yet. We'll certainly find out. But turn four, you know we were close early for turn five. I'm not going to be close enough this time. Oh, I'm going to go for it anyway. Why not? Oh, not close enough. 
that's one of my overtakes gone already. That was the chance that I really wanted to get him into turn five. Coming into the TV3, we're not going to be close enough. We'll get close for it to be to be close, but not close enough for a lunge. We are still putting in some rapid lap times, but Lakaisha is going to have to be the spot. We are excellent into Lakaisha, and I'm getting concerned because, as Lorenzo said in 2009, if you lead at this point to the end of the Grand Prix, you're not going to be overtaken. If you lead at this point, but it, things have changed since then because of Lakaisha, but into the left-hand side as tight as you like as we go. We lost the front. Oh no! Oh no! For the first time this season, we're going to DNF. Oh, what an anticlimactic moment. Oh, forget about the Lorenzo comment. Just think, oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Grant is down. The championship leader is down and will not be competing for the end of this race. So Ayagora wins the Grand Prix here in Catalonia. Somcat Chantra takes a valiant second. A Honda Team Asia blowout with Marcel Schrotter on the podium. But what has happened to the championship results? Not bad, but could be much, much worse. Augusto Fernandez just 59 points behind. Ayagora rockets himself up to second place with 86 points behind, tying Jake Dixon for third. Look at the team championship, and we have completely ruined our championship lead. We had a very comfortable margin, but now it's just dropped down to three points. Honda Team Asia are closing the gap with 41 behind. But guys... Sorry about that. <laughs> what a race, though. Still very much enjoyed it. So thanks for watching, guys, as always. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.